Mikko, can I can I take you back to the home game against City last season? Um, you weren't actually there because you you had COVID, didn't you? So mm -hmm. you you were watching from home. But obviously you lost, and there was a few decisions which were a bit con con controversial at the end. But for 55 minutes, you probably outplayed City, blew them away at times, went to go up. And it felt like the first time in a while that you'd really gone toe to toe with a top top team and out and out played. Did that feel like a turning point for you that game, or kind of a, a proof that you were going in the right direction? Yeah, I think we took a lot of positive from the game, but we lost the game at the end for one reason or the other. We end up losing it, so still the gap was there to for us to improve. Hopefully, we've gone a little bit a step further, and tomorrow we can show that against them. How do you think you made the change from what happened in that game, as in coming close but not quite getting over the line, to playing a lot of big games at the end of since and winning them, like we're seeing against United, Spurs, Liverpool? Because small details at the end dictate those football matches, and uh, we explained that at the Etihad when we lost 1-0 in the in the FA Cup. And um, and tomorrow we will demand perfect perfection from everybody for 96 minutes to to beat them. Yeah, I think the record now. I think Arsenal have lost the last 10 league games to City. I mean, it's an extraordinary run in a way that you don't normally get. Is the is the players almost get a, a bit of a mental block? I don't think so. I think if I ask the player, probably they don't know that stat. <laughs> so hopefully not. Don't tell them. Also, I ask you about Saliba because I mean, at the weekend it was highlighted. He played Tony and he lost every every physical challenge. Basically, does that a surprise you? And be are you confident that he's got the sort of physical capacity to handle someone like Harlan? He has the physical capacity to handle that as well. He needs the timing, he needs the exposure, he needs the experiences that he had with Tony to realise how difficult it is. But if you put Ivan Tony against any defender in the league and you put 10 balls uh, that are coming down with the snow, um, he probably is going to beat them. It's not about that ball, it's about what happens after that as well. The City aren't going to be purely hitting high balls into your box anyway. Well, not that, not that type of balls. They have a goalkeeper that can put the ball um, in your own box, that's for sure. Mikhail, you, you, you were talking about the anger, sorry. You were talking about the anger that is in the squad and, in, and was in yourself. Are you confident your players can channel that anger in the right way and not not react the wrong way in terms of decisions by referees no. and stuff? hundred percent. I think that's changed to, to more energy, to more positive energy and uh, and to realise that, OK, this is gone, you know, we're not going to get anything back from it, uh, apart from some sympathy and, and that's it and we have to move on and make the most out of it for the next few games. Because that can work in your favour, can't it? That kind of determine everybody's against us, we're on our own, we've just got to do it, it's up to us. That kind of it's up to us and there's things that we can control, things that obviously they are out of our hands and that was for sure one factor that we could not control and uh, had consequences. In some ways it is the perfect game to have after a slightly sort of bumpy patch, you know, to play against the top team at home with a great atmosphere. I think it's the perfect match because the match that we have tomorrow, that we have prepared um, really, really well and we are really looking forward to it. Do you prepare differently at all for Haaland playing or not playing? Do you have a plan if he doesn't? They can do with Haaland or no Haaland, with a false nine, with a false winger, with Bernardo playing as a left back, with a right back coming inside, with Rodri playing as a centre back and then stepping inside. They can do anything. So obviously we, we know that they can do those things and we'll try to prepare for that. Can you ask Lee Mason apologise to you guys? No, I haven't spoken to him. No. Last one. Uh, Miguel, um, there are many coaches and many critics convinced that you and City are the only two teams that can actually win the Premier League. Do you agree with that or do you see other teams? I think there is a lot of teams still that with the points that remain they have the chance to win it and in this league anything is possible. With this game as much as, as important as it is, is it different for you preparing you to meet, maybe to motivate your players or is it just as any other game? I think in terms of motivation, hopefully they don't need I think the game takes care of himself and the atmosphere that they're going to be playing tomorrow on it as well. Um, if anything, just try to drive that energy in the right way and, um, and use it in our favour.